What's up y'all? Even Tom here. Um, coming at you uh, back with some more tutorials. Um, sorry I've been away for so long and haven't been doing some stuff. I've been uh, really, really busy working on uh, making a sample pack, a crazy new sample pack for Black Octopus Sound that should be coming out here in the next couple weeks. Just finished it today actually. It took so long, so much tedious work. When you guys go to university or anything like that, it's like writing like a thesis or something and then trying to present that in an eloquent way. So I think I did a pretty good job with it. I'll show you guys some sounds on it. I'll do that at the end of the thing actually. Uh, I'll show you the sound we're going to make because it pisses me off in videos when people just like, you start a tutorial and then you don't know what the sound is for like two minutes straight. So this is the sound we're going to make. It's kind of like, um, kind of like, uh, the Transformers, like sweet Kai Wachi sound. It's fucking cool. Um, so yeah, I'm going to make that sound. Uh, these, I uh, got the idea or like, cause I, from just, these guys have been killing it lately. And I'll bring this up here. This, if you don't know who these guys kind of, kind of all on records, they're so crazy. This, um, the, these are all the artists and like, I really love the layout and everything about their whole shit. Like it's probably my favorite Canadian record label right now. Um, all these guys just killing it. Like they're just, they're just the sick as fucking crazy as music ever. So definitely go check out each and every one of these motherfuckers. Kai Wachi is the guy, like I saw, this is like what I... I heard this sound, I was like, oh, this kind of sounds something similar, and I was, I thought I'd make a tutorial and kind of make something badass like that. Apache, or Apache, Apache, or whatever, he's crazy too, like, oh my god, his, like, his, um, I read an article on him, he's just a badass motherfucker all around, and, uh, yeah, this, all these guys are crazy, check them all out, they're so sick, they're fucking cool. Um, so we're gonna look at that sound today. I uh, got some killer news. Gonna play at EDC on Saturday, Saturday night, uh, from one to two at uh, the Dance or Not stage. So you guys are at EDC or in Las Vegas, definitely come check us out. This is like our biggest show for show. Uh, and then right after that, we play in Winnipeg with like TJR and W and W and shit, which is crazy. So I'm super pumped for all that shit. And then I don't know our tour schedule. We have a tour schedule up on our Facebook page. Let's definitely go check us out. Follow us it on Saturday night. There'll be like a like a live feed from the from EDC apparently. So I'll I'll post up all the links. So you guys can check us out. It's gonna be fucking killer. Get some bounce up in fucking North America. Yeah. <laughs> uh, what do you call? It? Let's see. I'll show you some tunes. Some killer. We got like a bunch of fucking new tunes that are gonna come out for free here in a little bit. We just had a release on uh, Bomb Squad that's gonna come out on the 29th. It's called Apple Juice and Vodka. Uh, it sounds like this. It's on our SoundCloud page. You guys want to go check it out. It is right here. It's like bouncy as fuck. <laughs> Goes like a big room part, and then back to some bounce. So that's pretty cool. Uh, that's coming out. Super pumped to be part of fucking Bomb Squad. It was like a dream of ours for like the longest time. So that's fucking retarded. Just like can't even like a year ago, we were like, oh my god, like I wonder, I hope Bomb Squad like bombs away, like know who we are, like it'd be so cool. And now they're like, yo, <laughs> and I'm like, yo. <laughs> Whatever, if they're watching this video, fuck you guys. <laughs> uh, okay, uh, so this is the song. We worked on this song. We have like three killer bootlegs coming out. This is one of them. This is like that Iggy Azalea fancy track. Overall, around badass track. Actually, I, I edited it out to put, to take out the, like, that sound or whatever that I was using. So initially, so right now it sounds like this. Uh... Actually, I wonder if this is still on here. Maybe it is still on here. I'll show you in here. Oh, something soloed. So that sounds pretty fucking crazy. And then we, we had this part in here. So we had... Uh, 
She did the party, it's back up, I'm stupid I keep hopping on the phone, man, I get my money, I'm tired Spend my money to climb, that's what I'm in there, that's how much I get that line Rewind, to get my money, I'm tired Spend my money to climb, I just can't hold it down, no haters Gotta stay on my grind, now tell me who that, who that I obviously was messing with some stuff and some stuff's off, but we initially started it in a specific key and because the vocals were in a specific key and then we changed it because it like sounded better in a different key. Uh, and then so this part, so like we honestly use like, we like recorded all these, these made all these growl sounds because we're way, making way too much, like taking way too much CPU power and uh, it was just retarded. So we just bounced it all to audio and then when we came back to change it, it was such a pain in the ass change. So we're just going to take that out and use maybe this for a different part of a song. It's like complex y swing bounds, which is really cool. It's been going off on the, on the dance floor. I kind of got the idea from these guys called Kick the Habit. They have a crazy song called Bitches Out and it's fucking unreal. And uh, we were like, well, that's a, good, that's a really good idea to make this kind of shit. So uh, we started doing it. And then the last drop. <laughs> That's the final lead that we use for that, but whatever. I'll get started on the this tutorial, and then I'll fucking talk about all the shit that we've been, I was talking about before. Okay. Uh, first of all, open up. Oh, what the hell's my fucking mask? There you go. So open up a new sound, and make sure you uh, clear the. Uh, make a new sound. Go a new sound. New sound. Okay, we're going to put this first one up to positive negative bend, the second one up to positive bend, and this third one down to negative bend. Okay, do all this quickly and concisely so we get through this motherfucker. Okay, so this one we are going to put it on chrome, which is right there. Uh, this one we're going to put it on to AI, where it is AI, AI is right there. And the last one we are going to put it on squelchy, which is right there. First one, keep this all cranked away, cranked up, turn this motherfucker up, and turn this to about there. Up to like the 12 o'clock. Uh, so this. Oh. Sounds cool already. Uh, then we're gonna put this, crank this, oh sorry, this one will go up to about the uh, three o'clock. Crank this one all the way up, wave tape position on this one right there. Uh, intensity, put it to same place, about there. Then we're gonna crank, put the amp up all the way on that one, put it up to facing towards the Y, and this one towards the N. Only drop the middle one down 12 tones, one semitone. Sounding good. Move it on to the modulation part, put a phase on to there, just crank it up a little bit. Uh, you don't really need much on this phase modulation. Uh, I'm not going to be really worried about that too much. Color, put the color up to there and the amp up to, or just keep the amp right there. Crank this up a little bit so you see, get a little bit of feedback. Already sounding pretty cool. Uh, put this definitely up to series because you want the um, like that. Go into filter, put it into all pass filter. Crank it up to about there. Resonance, you can you can fill around the resonance. It doesn't really matter that much. Uh, make sure this is all the way up. Um, then we'll go into put it, a bronzer tube on it for the effect and put it to about there. Then put the drive about there. We're going to be modulating all this shit. So, um, cause this is a really complex sound and I just found, there's a really cool technique that I just found out about or a place to put it something that I just found out about that makes it really, gives it a really unique sound. Uh, then you want to put on your dimension expansion which is right here and what did I have it on I had it just up to here you can also fiddle around with this compare depending on where you have this sound in the song you're gonna have to you're gonna have to like fiddle with these parameters but generally you'll get the same sound and I'll have a patch up for you guys to download or do whatever the fuck you want with uh, trouble crank this up all the way here but this frequency down all the way okay 
filter or envelopes Let's do this okay the f put make sure envelope four is cranked all the way up <laughs> oh that's loud so that means so like the so when you hit the sound there's no decay on it um which is sweet and what you want lfo is the first lfo i put it to this and though i i thought it sounded cool two to one so i was given that slower pitchy sound i moved it to about there so it's starting like right here, so this is where the filter starting. And then the second one, I went to bending one. Crank this up, you can have that up. Yeah, that's enough for that. I didn't have any insert effects. Uh, okay, let's start putting this places. Put this one here, and crank it up to just a little bit like this. Put this one here, crank it up to here. Sorry, this way, turn that down a little bit. Put this one here, put one there, put one there, put one there, put one there. Pretty much in the, all the all the same shit on each one. Put this one, do I have one here? No. Put one there, put one there. Okay, and then crank this guy up a little bit. You're just cranking them up a little bit, like there's not too much modulation because you just want to look like movement in the sound. There, crank this one up all the way, this one just up a little bit. Uh, what else did I have here going on? Oh, yeah, I had this obviously in here. More again, more movement, more movement. Oh, no, I didn't have it there. Never mind. Uh, oh, yeah, this I had it here. And I had it here. I had it in dimension expansion too. Oh, I just had it here in the drive. Okay, there, uh, and then a really important thing, so I've changed this last one to, or I changed this one, was it this one? Yeah, to a uh, performer, and then I made the curve like this. You can change around the curve any way you want. Uh, like this, I made it up to eight. And every second one, I made it like this, so it was like a wobbly, like a hill kind of thing. <clears throat> and then what did I do? I turned this, oh shit. I turned this on, I turned this to 32, and I put this motherfucker right here, where no one would suspect it. And I just take, turn these ones off. And when you turn it down an octave, it's like, it's fucking cool. And you can just fiddle with round. I would just fiddle with stuff until you get the exact sound that you want. But that's basically how you get like that kaiwachi kind of sound. So the sound I was talking about would be like, uh, let's see here. This is his SoundCloud. Like this is not exact like what he has, but it get, like I'm, I'm in the process on like my free time to make like. Uh, it's crazy, like something similar like this, because his music is pretty epic, and I like expanding to different genres to so like like hone your skills. It's better to either like go and do some new song, make a new song, like a new different genre, and then you just gain so many skills. Like never just stick to one genre; just fucking kill it and everything. Uh, yeah, like check this shit out. So that's like, that's one of the songs, what's this? So super crazy like trap shit, but yeah, so this sound, like, this sound, I put it in like, I had it in here, like. That's where I had it in there, but uh, you can put it anywhere the fuck you want. That sounds like some, like Megatron transforming, actually, which is pretty sweet. So uh, yeah, that's how you make that sound. I'll put that down for free download, and you can do whatever the hell you want with it. Um, definitely, again, yeah, come check us out here. I'll show you some other sweet shit we got going on. Um, so there's that song. Well, I guess I can show you in here. 
Oh no, I can't because it's gonna die. Uh, yeah, so they got that song. And I'll show you some shit over here. Ew. Um, we got so that's Izzy, Izzy Azalea song. This is how the last one's gonna sound. That one sounds pretty sweet. We just made, I uh, was gonna release this one like right away, but we'll release that Eggy one right away. Uh, this song, a uh, Call of Me remix, I thought it was pretty spectacular. Oh, okay. That's pretty sweet, breaks out again to this. Pretty sick. Then it breaks down to like the original part with some uh, bounce tones underneath. And this part's pretty sick. So yeah, that one, that one's fucking killer. And then this one is just a fucking all around motherfucking badass tune. Uh, Afro Man, Cole 45. So, we got that crazy shit coming out, which is fucking awesome. I've been playing that around, like, at all these shows I've been playing in places have been going fucking bonkers. Um, I have another tutorial in a little bit, but, like, if you guys haven't been checking my shit, uh, we also did this Duck Sauce Energy one. Where the fuck is that? Uh, drop box. Free downloads, all in the free download section. Uh, people just bootlegs. We got this Duck Sauce one. Really mad support. Kind of complex story too. Then breaks down to like more complex story too. Last drop. Last drop sounds like Kermit the Frog if he was like black and he started pimping some hoe bitches that were also frogs and telling them what's up. Yeah, Kermit the Frog talking smack the show. Uh, then we also did one on, what was that other one? Uh, bad, we did Bad, which kept getting taken down off YouTube, or... Um, whatever, fucking SoundCloud, because fucking David Guetta is a gay, uh, and he kept, doesn't want, he wants all the money for himself, motherfucker. I mean, I don't understand SoundCloud, why are they taking shit down, because you're not making any money on it. YouTube, you can make money on, like, mentoring videos and shit like that, which I understand, like, that, that makes sense, but SoundCloud, you don't make any money on, so why are they worried about copywriting shit, it's like a remix, like, or a bootleg. Yeah, this is our bounce remix, blah, blah, blah.
So check all that shit out. Uh, we have our sample pack, have our sample packs coming out right here, right away. Uh, to um, all the links. Uh, I also have John uh, Platt. He is the guy who's been doing all our mastering. He's been killing it lately. Uh, so if you need any mastering work done, uh, go check out John Platt. He's fair and he does a great job. I'll leave his email down below if you guys want to check him out. He's really good. Gets his shit done quickly. It's awesome. Give that guy some work. He needs it. Uh, Definitely give that guy some work. Um, yeah, here's some of the sample pack we got going on. <clears throat> Where do I have this? Black Octopus. Black Octopus, also check them out. I was really, really honored by to be asked to make a to be a make a pack like this because I thought their 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 samples are the bomb and they were like, yo, come do a pack for us. And I was like, holy shit, really? Like that's pretty fucking crazy. Uh, so uh, where the fuck did I put this thing? Projects. Uh, there we go. So, so far, I'll just give you a little heads up. One of the funnest things about making sample pack is naming shit. So I named, this one's called Angry Vagina. That one's cool, Bump Bump. Frog Growl. I put them all in different, uh, like I, I bounce a bunch of samples down all in the same, uh, or in different notes because then it's easier for when you put samples in uh, to manipulate them. I'm also going to do a bunch of, make a bunch of videos when this releases on how to use this efficiently in tracks so that you can actually fucking use it. Let's call it Godzilla. These are just the growl sections. That one's cool. Mummy diarrhea. Let's see what that sounds like. That sounds like mummy diarrhea. Pterodactyl tail. Pretty cool. Swamp thing. So those are just the growls. Then I have a bunch of fucking bass stabs. All these badass bass stabs. Which is badass. Offbeat basses. Got a shitload of offbeat basses for you bouncers. All fucking badass as shit. Wobbles. Like I didn't even know I made that one. That was like crazy. It's called bipolar ghost. Megatron vasectomy. <laughs> Predator tail whip or hair whip. That's just a wobble zombie tidal wave. Cool. That was, it was really fun making these names. What else they got in here? Got some drums. Drums. I uh, have a bunch of kicks in here. Still working on the snares and shit like that. FX. Got a bunch of uplifters, downlifters, and random effects. Lead. Have a bunch of lead stabs. These are all magically processed. You can put them in a sampler and go bananas with them. Pretty cool, rainbow flying cat. Pretty cool, mac and cheese. Pew pew. <laughs> Pretty cool. Other crazy ones. Sad. That's a sad toilet. <laughs> Synth cabinet. Yeah, all these ones are really good for. Uh, All these ones are really good for putting into, uh, what's this, oh yeah, that's a thing. So all those are really good for putting into samplers and like manipulating from there because that's why I did them in so many, like all the different keys. Um, we're going to put, I just, the only other thing that I have to finish on this thing is um, like, uh, like sequence, like, like different, how do I explain it? Uh, like you know in sample packs when they have everything like like a, a deconstructed song. So I'm going to do a couple of those to help people like understand how to like structure things better. Uh, yeah, so that's pretty stupid what we got going on. Fucking EDC this week, did some other festivals, check our tour schedule, got this new tutorial, gonna try and do as many tutorials as I can, super busy lately, gonna have for sure Fancy out by the end of the week, so we can pump that up. Check us out on EDC on that Fast Pass, fa free Fan Pass TV or something, I don't know, it'll be on there somewhere, uh, I'll put some links up. Uh, check our Facebook out, subscribe to all that shiznits, we'll keep you posted on that crap, and yeah, hopefully you guys, come say hi if you guys see us out in, in uh, any of these things, it'd be sweet, love to meet you guys. Alright, peace motherfuckers.
Uh, oh yeah, one more crazy thing that I forgot to tell you guys, uh, and this is just purely because it's fucking awesome, is that uh, also we're playing EDC on Saturday, and then on Sunday we're playing at Mike Tyson's Mansion, which is pretty bananas, and we're trying to ride his tiger, and hopefully have sex with someone in his bed. We'll see. I'm gonna try and tie, I'm gonna try and ride his tiger, but we'll see what happens. Pretty crazy. We'll get lots of footage and post that shit up. Peace. I drink it from a bottle. I drink it from the belly button of a supermodel.